We're joined now by phone by Rosalind Helderman, one of the reporters who broke this story about the president considering pardons for himself, for his family, for his staff. Broke that story tonight in the Washington Post. Uh, Rosalind, thank you very much for joining us tonight. We've all been studying every word of this story. Pardons is just one component of it. We're going to come back to that. But tell us uh, some of the other discoveries you've, re you've been reporting in this story tonight. Well, sure. The pardons discussion we understand is part of sort of a broader conversation going on uh, with the president and his team uh, about ways that they could limit or curtail uh, the Mueller investigation. Uh, there is great unhappiness on the part of the president that the investigation appears to be expanding rapidly day by day and particularly appears to now be looking at his finances. Uh, the, the written order establishing the special uh, counsel, uh, excuse me, the special counsel um, gave him authority to look at collusion with Russia and at matters that arise or arose directly out of that probe. And so there's conversation about are all of these other things really things that should be considered matters that arose directly from the Russia probe? Yeah, and the uh, the. the the probe can, as we've seen with special prosecutors in the past, they can stumble upon anything. They can be uh, looking at some Russian connection and looking at some bank statement and then discover something that has nothing to do with the campaign. Uh, and that would, that would fall under something that arises directly from the investigation. Well, sure. And of course, who is the arbiter of whether or not they're uh, exceeding their their mandate, their written order? It's the same process you were just discussing, the attorney general, or in this case, because he's recused himself, the deputy attorney general. Uh, so it does seem as though part of this is a conversation about sort of making a public case uh, as opposed to sort of a legal case. Uh, we, we're also uh, told that there is a lot of conversation about possible conflicts on the part of Mueller and members of his team, uh, a new one that we were reported this evening is apparently there's a discussion of Bob Mueller's membership at, uh, of all things, the Trump National Golf Course in Northern Virginia, where he was a member until 2011, and some variety of, uh, we're told by White House advisors, dispute over his membership fees at that club. Now, I should say a spokesman for uh, Bob Mueller has told us uh, that uh, no such dispute occurred, uh, so we're going to have to uh, learn a little bit more about that. Uh, but this active effort to find ways to undercut the probe uh, by saying it's grown too large beyond its scope and by looking at conflicts by uh, Mueller and his team. Uh, Rosalyn, I want to go back to that, uh, that golf membership, which seems so trivial uh, when, when you mention it, but there's something really important in it in your story, which really jumped out at me, and that is that a spokesperson for uh, the special prosecutor specifically responded to that one point and said that one point is completely untrue. And so when we say that the special prosecutor doesn't comment in any way, uh, that's 99% true because the special prosecutor did comment tonight about this dispute uh, with the Donald Trump uh, golf club being untrue. Yeah, you, you make a good point. I mean, clearly there was something about uh, that particular topic, and I guess uh, because it has to do with him personally, uh, that they felt like they could or should respond to. And there's a, there's, you also uh, talk about in, in the piece Mark Corallo, who was the spokesperson uh, for the Trump legal team who just quit uh, that job, uh, quitting within 24 hours of this interview that Donald Trump did with the New York Times that the legal team knew nothing about. Uh, that was very much about the, the work that the legal team is working on, and, that, and you report that that interview with the New York Times came after a meeting uh, with the legal team uh, run by the new member of the team, Ty Cobb, the new lawyer on the team, uh, and in that meeting, Ty Cobb believed that he got an agreement for a new kind of discipline from the president who was in the meeting uh, and everyone else involved, a new kind of discipline about public comments about this. And then within 24 hours of that, the president is doing this wild interview with The New York Times, which others in the White House didn't know about, legal team didn't know about. And right after that, we see Mark Corallo, the spokesperson for the legal team, quits. It's hard to think that that interview with The New York Times and being blindsided like that uh, is unrelated to Mark Corallo quitting. 
Yeah, I mean, it seems like there's a certain amount of restructuring that's going on in the legal team. I mean, you've got that timeline right, and uh, it may well be that there's some connection between those events. Uh, so we've got Corallo resigning tonight. There's also reporting this evening that Mark Kasowitz's role uh, is going to be, uh, he, of course, is the president's private attorney uh, who's been seen sort of as the, as the chief uh, responder on Russia, uh, that, that his role is going to be um, uh, reduced, uh, though he will still be there. Uh, there's also uh, Jay Sekulow, who's sort of the public face of the team. He goes on television. And uh, John Dowd, who's uh, kind of more of a, a veteran watch Washington hand, uh, uh, who's going to be doing more of the work behind the scenes. Uh, Rosalind, it, I, I noticed that some of your sources, some uh, unnamed uh, sources on this uh, within the Trump world, uh, talking about the president's inquiries about his pardon uh, authority, uh, and specifically pardoning himself, pardoning his family, pardoning his staff. Some of them seem to be trying to suggest to you and to suggest to the Washington Post in the article that this is almost kind of an academic inquiry. It's not really about uh, anything specific that's happening to anyone in the family. Uh, or the staff or the president now. Uh, what was your sense of what they were trying to convey about the level of seriousness of this inquiry? Yeah, I think what you just described is a fair read of our reporting. Our understanding is uh, that there is no immediate rush uh, uh, to try to pardon himself or uh, or any particular belief uh, at the moment that that's going to become necessary or is necessary. That rather this is uh, uh, this is a conversation about legal options and what the law allows. Under what conditions can a president pardon someone? Can he pardon a member of staff? Can he pardon a member of his family? Can he, in fact, as the allow for it pardon himself. And, and Rosalind, when these White House sources are talking about this, are they, do they seem aware that no president in history has ever asked about his, his authority to pardon his family, himself, and his well, staff I don't know that we at know the that same no time? No president has ever asked about that authority. No president has ever uh, attempted to exercise such authority before. Uh, you know, and I, I certainly seem aware uh, that these are uh, matters that are, are without legal precedent uh, and um, are unsettled, uh, particularly on the question of whether a president can pardon himself. Uh, there's quite a lot of uh, legal dispute and literature on that topic and, and no real settled question from, from the legal community. And, of course, part of that is because it has, as you said, not been tested before. Rosalind Helderman, you will have all of us pondering all of those questions now for the next hour and certainly for the next 24 hours and longer. Thank you very much for joining us tonight on this important night of reporting for you in The Washington Post. We really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.